Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an everyday makeup look. Super basic, as you can see, it's nothing special, but you guys request these from me so often, um, usually because I'm wearing something that's just like my everyday makeup in a video, and you're like, I need a tutorial on this look, uh, which has happened heaps recently with this, my very basic makeup look. I always love watching everyday makeup routines, even if the techniques are nothing groundbreaking, or uh, I've sort of seen this look from someone many times, because I enjoy seeing what products they're using. That for me is really what this is about. I love sharing the products that I'm really loving right now. It's almost like a favorites video, but also a tutorial. So I yak on a lot about products that have been really working for me and for my pale skin. Hopefully it'll help inspire you with what product you want to get next for your makeup bag. If you do end up enjoying this video, then don't forget to give it a like for me. It does really help me out, lets me know what you guys want to see from me. And if you can comment below with any video suggestions, I always love getting suggestions from you guys. If you want to subscribe, I do make two videos a week, so I'd love to have you part of my little pale skin family here on YouTube. And without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So I'm going to begin with primer, and I'm going to use my L'Oreal Lumi Magique base today because my skin is feeling really dehydrated, like really dehydrated. Ew. Um, and I want some glow because I haven't, uh, I haven't been drinking enough water. So today I'm really chugging it back, but obviously it hasn't quite made its effect on my skin apparent yet. <laughs> I also didn't have like the world's best sleep last night and um, so I'm feeling quite exhausted and sleep deprived just because I've been stressing a lot and then dreaming you know, stress dreams all night. So I sort of wake up exhausted rather than rested. It also means that I'm going to use my damp beauty blender to apply my foundation because again, it sort of adds a little bit of moisture when you're putting your foundation on. I have a couple that I really have been loving lately for like an everyday kind of look. One of them is the Laneige BB Cushion Whitening in the shade 11C, so like 11 cool toned. Um, this is really nice dewy lightweight formula. If I'm doing a no makeup makeup kind of look or a very lightweight sort of throw it on look, um, I will reach for this one because it does look so healthy and just glowy. But it doesn't have like a lot of coverage. It's very much like a sheer to maybe medium coverage max. Um, and I generally prefer like medium to full coverage. So the two that I've been loving besides that cushion are the Too Faced Born This Way in Swan and the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 102. So if I want obviously more matte skin, I will go for this one. But obviously today with my skin feeling a lot less like hydrated. I'm gonna go for the most hydrating formula, which is this one. The color is a little bit more on the yellow side compared to the um, Maybelline. I think the Maybelline's a slightly better color for me, um, but this is really nice and pale, this swan shade. And when it's blended out, it looks okay. It just looks kind of neutral. I just love the finish of this foundation. It's so nice. And it looks really good blended out with a beauty blender or a brush. It kind of works in both instances. So that's left me with a really nice medium coverage level because I use a beauty blender. I do get a little bit better coverage with a brush with that foundation, just FYI. For concealer, I'm going to use a really hydrating concealer again, the Born This Way in the shade Fairest. I have a review on this foundation and this concealer if you want to go watch it. it's um, I do both in the one video. Uh, a few weeks back I did it. This is one of my favorite concealer formulas. It's so hydrating. I do wish it had like a touch more coverage because it is a little on the light side um, for a concealer. We're so used to things like the Tarte Shape Tape now that this just feels so lightweight. However, when my skin's really dehydrated, I'd rather have a little bit of darkness under my eyes but have the formula leave it nice and hydrated and nourished looking then go for something that's super heavy and full coverage and then it ends up looking just sort of cakey and gross so that's why I'm reaching for this one. I like to run a little bit down my nose as well where I just need a little bit of extra coverage because it gets a little bit red. I do however have a couple of um, old pimple sort of marks that are quite hard to cover with the Born This Way concealer so I'm going to use my Shape Tape in Fair just to cover these because I need something a little bit more heavy duty 
And then to set my concealer and my face, I'm gonna use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffuse Light. This is great for when my skin is feeling really dehydrated and lackluster looking. <laughs> I use this double-ended Hourglass brush, the tulip end just to set under the eyes. It's a really nice shape for getting right up under there. This powder is fantastic because it doesn't leave your skin looking matte. It just kind of sets the makeup. And then I'll just go on with a big fluffy brush as well to do a general sweep. It really just blurs out imperfections and makes your skin look nice and healthy and sets the makeup so it won't budge throughout the day. Now for day to day, I've actually not been contouring very often. Um, I just It's a step I've been skipping. Um, I have actually lost a bit of weight recently, so my face is looking less moon-like than normal. So I just haven't felt the need to contour on a daily basis. Um, but for bronzer, I do go in with my Makeup Geek bronzer in Sun Kissed. This is a fair skin bronzer. It is so nice. Like, oh, I really enjoy using it. Like. And I'm using this enormous powder brush from Furless Cosmetics. This is their BC1 brush. It just applies such a lovely wash of colour as opposed to looking too heavy. But I do go pretty, pretty heavy handed with this bronzer at the moment because I just... Oh, hello. Because I just adore the colour of it and the tone. I'm going to take that right down onto my chest as well. Just to make everything look seamlessly blended. For blush, one that I've been reaching for again uh, is an oldie but a goodie, it's NARS Orgasm and this is a blush that I do reach for when I want to look really healthy because it just, I think the tone just really perks up your complexion, it really suits pale skin well and it is a little bit shimmery too so it adds a nice glow to the cheeks. Another one that I really like using is Milani Luminoso another everyday sort of favorite. I've got a bunch of blushes that I love using every day. Tarte Exposed is really nice. There's just so many, so many nice blushes. But I particularly like using this one when I want quite a blushy look, like if I'm not gonna do too much action on the eyes or the lips, which today everything's gonna be pretty muted. So I like to kind of, you know, go fairly hard out with the cheek. And then my favourite highlighter at the moment that I've been reaching for heaps every day is the Mecca Max Skin Halo Diamond Dust in the shade White Gold. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I think I've mentioned it before in a couple of tutorials and maybe even a vlog. Um, it's really similar in... It's very similar in concept to the Bare Minerals Invisible Glow Powder and the Hourglass strobing powders. So there's no glitter or chunky sort of shimmery pigments. It's like literally just a glow. It's so beautiful. So I am obsessed with this. I have used it literally every day. This is definitely my favorite product from the Mecca Max line. Very, very impressed with that. And it's so affordable. I might have overdone it on the tip of my nose, so I'm just going to take away some of that. I hate that like tip of the nose highlight that people do with like a tiny brush. I'm just like, ugh, not my jam. Then for brows, I've been keeping it fairly simple. I've been filling them in mostly with the Benefit Cub Brow in shade 2. And then I use the Essence Make Me Brow in the shade Soft Brownie Brows. So just going to give my brows a wee brush through. I must say though that this Benefit Cub Brow is running out. I've used quite a lot of it and it's sort of starting to go a little bit dry. I've never had a brow pomade that has stayed just as moist the entire time I've used it. Like my Chi Chi one did it. Um, I know the Anastasia ones tend to dry out pretty fast too, but this one, I've been using this for like half a year and it's only just sort of starting to get a little bit, um, just a little bit flaky now. So yeah, so it's not quite as easy to work with as when I first got the product, but it's still nice. If you know of a brow pomade that doesn't dry out at all and you can get to the very last bit and it stays nice, let me know because I'm really keen. <laughs> For eyeshadows, I tend to try and mix it up, just, you know, to play with different palettes, but uh, over the last few weeks, since I got my hands on my new Makeup Geek eyeshadows, this is all I've been reaching for. I think it's because I, like, designed myself 
my perfect palette essentially. These are Makeup Geek shadows in a MAC palette. I'm gonna put my cheap products up here eventually too once I get the insert. Um, so it's a very neutral palette, it's got a lot of nice sort of fall colours um, but these are all colours I love to wear on a daily basis. I've already done a sort of more dramatic tutorial with this before so today I'm going very basic. Um, I will list all the colours I use because I don't remember the names but I've got them all written down. Um, but I'm going to go in with this colour here first which is a matte cream colour and I take a sort of big fluffy brush, this is just a Furless Cosmetics one that comes in the big like 12 piece set and I firstly put this like all just all over the lid, it's very basic just remember this is nothing groundbreaking, this is just my everyday makeup so if you're expecting any special techniques you'll be very disappointed. Then I go in with my Mecca Cosmetica blending brush and this shade in above that matte shade which is a kind of warm toned crease colour and I just put this through the crease, very basic. I take that same brush and I go in with this colour which I think is Barcelona Beach but I will obviously put it on the screen if it's different um, and I just take a little bit of that and kind of run that into this outer portion of the eye and little like circular motions. This adds a little bit more depth but like not too much. Then I take a small fluffy brush and I go back in with that Barcelona beach colour and I actually run this under my lower lash line and really sort of add quite a bit of smokiness under there and then I kind of try and bring it around and connect it in with that out of V as well. I might take a little bit of shimmer shimmer and just put a little of that on my inner corners but I don't always do this step, I usually stick with sort of matte eyes. Pop on a bit of nude liner on my waterline. If you haven't ordered your Chichi Eye Brightener yet, make sure you do it. I've mentioned this for years and it's incredible and I use it almost every single day. And then for my top lash line I go in with a black eyeliner. This is the Zoeva Graphic Eyes Black to Earth Eyeliner and I just put that on the outer third of the eye and then grab my pencil brush by Furless Cosmetics and just softly kind of diffuse that a little bit so it doesn't just look like a harsh line. Then I go in with mascara, my favourite everyday mascara has been the Lancôme Monsieur Big Mascara, this is so good, it adds so much volume to your lashes, I just love it for every day. For lips I've generally been loving gloss or a, like a kind of soft balm on my lips for day to day. Quite often I just use my By Terry Balm de Rose because it's just such a nice nourishing formula and it does leave a little bit of a sheen as well on your lips. However if I want actual gloss I'll go in with my L'Oreal Colorish Gloss in the shade 601 Nude Ballet which is one of my favourite lip products of all time. It's fairly pigmented for a gloss, so it doesn't leave you with that kind of like concealer lips look because um, it's got quite a bit of peachiness to it so it really brightens the face whilst still giving you that juicy lip look. Oh, and it smells and tastes incredible, it's like, like fruit candy. Not very good for my sugar cravings, let's just say that. So there we have it, that's my everyday makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me if you did enjoy it and you found it useful. I'd be really keen to know what is in your everyday makeup kit, so do leave your comments below uh, telling me some products you think I should check out that would be good for an everyday makeup sort of routine. If you want to see my last makeup tutorial then you can click up here and if you want to see my last vlog I will pop that over there as well so you can learn a little bit more about me. And if you are interested in subscribing so you get two videos from me a week, then you can click on my face down here. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.